we're here. Uh, this is the second stop of Karam Corners Tour. We have a prize fund of $30,000, first place being $5,000. And we have a very special guest this afternoon, this fine Sunday afternoon, the Swedish phenomenon, Mr. Torbjorn Blumdahl. Say hi to everybody here. Hello, Hello. everybody. I'm proud to be here. This is a great game we're going to watch today. Yes, and uh, it's also very important for both players, obviously. Um, they'll be playing to 40 points, even up. Sang Chun Li, 11 time national champion, has won the break. Now, I believe, uh, Torbjorn, you had a couple of uh, words with the players before the start of their match. Uh, I'm curious to to hear exactly what, uh, what how they felt. Yeah, I was just uh, asking some very basic questions, and uh, I didn't expect some very sensational answers. I was just comparing the two different ways of of uh, you know, of, of thinking about the game. Uh, we see Sang Lee playing a fantastic shot here. It didn't look very spectacular, but look look what happens. The white is huge in the corner and position is a little lucky but perfect from the red to continue. I asked uh, I asked some questions which I have heard on T V other commentators in other sports asking the players what are the weaknesses and the strengths of your opponent and maybe we will come back to that a little later because this looks interesting. The start is very important. He's in perfect position here. He's going to score again. And just to hold hold back with the English a little bit, not to avoid missing it in the corner. The red ball is now getting a little bit out of position, but it's of course it's <laughs> impossible to control. True, of course. Uh, this game, uh, as of now, I should mention that uh, Mr. Lee's record as of now is four wins and four losses. And Mr. Kuhlman's record is five wins and four losses. So both players desperately need that W in their on their chart. This looks like a good shot uh, if you can avoid the kiss. White ball seems to be seems to be quick enough. The way. Oh, my goodness! Yeah, it's a, it's a, you have to you have to gamble with this kiss because it, there's no way you can surely uh, you you cannot play this shot avoiding the kiss by by one meter. It's impossible. So it has you, to have, to, you have to gamble with mm -hmm. it. Uh, there's no no other way to play it. Maybe you yeah maybe you could have played six res, but then you you will have to make the object ball so fast that it will probably kiss anyway so because it's so fast and either compared way compared with your cue ball that's very dangerous so he's on a run of uh, five four, five on five. the break this is his favorite short short long with reverse English yes short short long takes the spin look at this maybe it's going behind no perfect it's fine wonderful that's a, not such a precision shot, but just a big ball in the general direction with good results. Yeah, now we can see how important his second shot was. He just made it very thin and created the perfect position for himself. A little lucky, but now he, the run goes on. And this looks like uh, one of Sang Lee's favorite shots. His little plus two shot. Short, long, long. He doesn't seem to be. No, at it, no, this is a good chance to score. Uh, going off the left side of the white ball. For like I don't know if he's. I don't know if he's thinking about four or five cushions. I, I don't know where to where he wants to pit, put the uh, the white ball. Uh, that's a four cushion. Yeah, it's the easiest way to get out of the kiss. But he's he's playing a little conservative here. He, he's happy with six points and and this position for for Raymond. And let Raymond come. Minus. Yeah, he he could have played from the red and open up the game, and there was a kiss. Kiss was difficult to control, so this was maybe maybe the best option. And uh, can see there, in the background, your 
wife of just a few years. Yes. There she is watching the game. Yeah. She's not so nervous now. She's relaxed because I'm. Because you're not playing. I'm only speaking, yeah. So. When, when you play, does she get very nervous when you play, especially uh, in the finals, uh, in the World Cups, and, and the such? Yeah, she. Yeah, <laughs> she. It's it's hard for her. Does sometimes. she leave the room? No, but it's hard for me too to watch uh, to watch games, exciting games. I get nervous too when two guys are are fighting hard and. and you know when it comes to the end of the game right you can feel the yeah, tenseness it's in the air it's horrible i cannot sit down yeah i'm not joking it's true now raymond is playing to miss both balls i think just to leave everything in front of sang lee ah, i see i don't know it's maybe not a good idea but it seemed, it seemed, uh, it seemed all the way that it was going to be too long but Table table is a little different. Uh, this is the first game in the morning, and the audience hasn't arrived yet, so it's a little cooler in the room, and it's a little shorter. So maybe he was he was uh, adjusting, exaggerating his adjustment a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because this was not a really not really a difficult position for Sang Lee. He's standing. He's standing up real high when he's shooting. Oh, yes. So he's he's he doesn't mind standing like that with a, with a elevated cue. So so that particular shot wasn't too difficult for him. No, I think he felt very comfortable. He's he's leading six zero. He's got off to a good start, and I think he has only positive things in his head right now. <laughs> yes, yeah, this uh, is wonderful to have a start like this. Yes, in a couple of innings, he's. 8 to 0. And it looks like everything's going his way as of now, but everybody knows that uh, Mr. Kolomins can never count him out in any no. game in any situation ever. No, he's he's always showing his his strength when he's behind. That's uh, what 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 is, to me it's very very hard to play against Kolomins when he's when I'm leading and he's coming back because He's not likely to to miss when he's because, because no, he's not missing because he's behind. He misses the shots that he always misses. So some other players, you you might hope that he, they are going to miss because they are losing because the game. Because you're so far ahead of them. Yeah, right. but that he doesn't give up. He doesn't do that. So <laughs> that's very very difficult for the opponent if if he starts coming back. And Sang Lee knows this. He feels this too. I think sometimes I think some Sang Lee is also like that. His game when he comes back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he has the same, a little bit the same style. He doesn't mind being behind, and he doesn't miss because he's he's behind. Right, right. Some players get stronger when they lead, and and they play bad when they when they are losing. Yes, I, I'm one of them. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I have a little bit that uh, ten, tenden, tenden tendencies. Tendencies, yes. yeah. Thank you. But um, so obviously every player gets somewhat tense, nervous during a very close, important match. How do you deal with 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 that kind of pressures? How does it affect your game, and how how do you not let it affect your game? Yeah, I'm one of those who gets affected by that so I, I just try to survive sometimes in the end of the game when when the game is tough I don't see I don't see the lines anymore I don't see where yeah I, so I'm, ju I'm just guessing really it gets so you are it so gets really bad that? sometimes it gets really bad I want you gen ladies and gentlemen out there to realize that even arguably the best player in the world also gets a little tense nervous and feels the pressure so don't be discouraged out there if you're if you're one of those. I think it's normal to to feel the pressure, but I, I dealt with the pressure much better when I was younger, and and yeah, and, and I didn't. I didn't think expected I didn't to think win every single tournament. Basically, I think uh, as of uh, after you reach a certain point, you were almost expected to win everything, any tournament that you entered, and that in itself is a little different kind of pressure. 
it's easier to go win as an underdog and win yeah. than be expected to win. If, if you win, everybody says, oh yeah, of course he's going to win. Yeah. We just saw Sang Lee make a, one of his favorites. It's already the second tiki in this game. This was not at all easy, but... Uh, it's normal for him. Yeah, he, for him it's easy. He's the best player in the world in these tickies. Yeah, best one for one or two rail first is probably yeah. arguably the best. Of course. Three rails first, on the other hand, is a little different. Yeah, there we have some other e experts. Yes. On, on the next table we can see him maybe in the background, Hank Halbrock and his yes, one of the is. experts. There he is now. He's he's even Sang Lee has, has, has mentioned to us that he feels that Hank Halbrock, out of all the European players that he's known, is the best at the three cushion uh, three three rail first yeah three three and five five cushion yes three cushion four or five yeah so this is uh, an ability that Sang Lee knows that he he doesn't it's not one of his favorite shots so he, he almost never plays three cushion first oh yes I, never. I s maybe one time in, in three games or something like that he plays three cushion first he, he, he really he makes everything to avoid it Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, Ano yeah. Another another player is uh, Dion Nelin. He says about himself that he he doesn't know anything about bank shots, but he plays them real well. <laughs> he just has to. <laughs> he's he's really good. He doesn't have any systems at all, but he can he can play three rails first and 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 cut the ball thin. It's amazing. But <laughs> as for uh, those of you who don't know, uh, Mr. Dion Nelin is a player from Denmark. He's uh, currently ranked six in the world, and he's only 24 years old. No, even 23. Yeah, I, th I thought he was 20, 24. 23 or 24. 23, okay. Look at this. Another yeah, one. Perfect. Two rows first. So. Two plus one, yeah. I, I, I always say two plus one, one plus two is makes it makes it easier for me to know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. that's, uh, that's also a good way to think to explain the shot. And he's definitely on fire at the moment. Yeah, these uh, these rail first shots is they are so important. Of course, being Korean, in Korea you you get more points when you when you bank. Ah uh, yes, the ball, and so uh, that's, that's I've, uh, I've heard that uh, you've been to Korea and. Uh, you know, had a little fun with uh, the locals and played a little of the Korean gambling game, which yeah. is called Chick Suck. Yeah. And of course, after I heard, of course, after winning most of their yeah. chips, you just returned it to them. Just fake. Uh, yes, yes. And of course, that's. Uh, but it's it's a it's a good way of learning to playing rail first shots. Meanwhile, Sang Lee is making all the points. He's he's getting either either good positions or or rail first shots and he's enjoying it yes he definitely is and uh but it would be wrong to think that the game is already decided uh, because absolutely not with uh there's one there is one experienced man sitting in the chair probably he's not most he's not worried at all <laughs> he knows he's going to get some chances sometimes sometimes he's able to play his best games coming from behind and just rolling over the opponent However, this is uh, I've seen summer. that a couple of times. Yes, this is uh, summertime, and I asked him before this game uh, about his uh, his shape, his uh, yeah, how far he is in his in his preparations for the coming season, and he said he didn't have many many chances to practice uh, this summer because of some business, some changes in his businesses. Ah, I see. And uh, but I think uh, uh, that's why uh, he likes to come to the United States. Uh, how, how's your feeling on the on the type of tournaments format of Karen Horner here in the United States? Do you find it uh, easier, better, more uh, you know, more exciting? Do you feel the the single elimination style of the BWA is a truer or which one do you? Which one would you rather play in? Disregarding 
anything else except the format. Yeah, uh, round robin format is is always interesting. Uh, of course, you risk you risk uh, uh, that you you might risk that you you have no final. Like no final exciting last match, yeah. do or die. Right. The tournament can be decided before before the last game. That's that's True. a risk for, for the organizer, but for us players, that that risk is is, is not of course not so important. But I like to play round robin. That uh, takes the pressure off a little bit. I think uh, it's a good practice for for you before the season begins. And I'm, just, uh, I'm, ju I'm sorry. I'm just watching Sang Lee. Yes. <laughs> he's, he's avoiding the kisses, real good, and uh, playing around the table shots almost every time. The it's shot that he just made right now is fully loaded with kisses. Yeah, it's, it's, it's as you say, it's, it's not so easy to to know exactly where they are. But afterwards, you can say, "Oh, that was easy," but to explain it before is another thing. True, true. He explained that shot to me numerous times about this way getting a kiss that way getting a kiss and how you have to play it to not get out of a kiss but and it is very difficult you're off by a millimeter no he tried a high speed shot here but he missed he missed the hit so the speed didn't work speed was high enough but he, he hit the red too thick so uh, so he didn't have a run of 10 run beautiful of ten points beautiful start means the score as of now is 19 to 1 and I believe this is uh, Mr. Kuhlman's maybe third inning I think so too and now we have this five this five cushion shot again with all the kisses inside and he found one of them of course he was he was queuing with over the over the rail and and had about or was that two meters to the object ball or more? Then it gets even more difficult to control. Right, and that was exactly of the same pattern shot that Stanley just made. And he was he was closer to the he was closer to the yes, to the object ball yes. and had a free queuing on the table. Now he's queuing from the rail. Circles around the kisses. It seems to me that those two balls just pass through each other. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if you can control those things but that way. And he spent he spent about ten seconds on the shot, so he must have been pretty sure. Took many many strokes to feel. Yeah, to feel this must be it. And yeah, I'm like that when when I'm playing well and everything is going well. I I tend to feel those little things much better when you are in a getting hot you say yes when you get hot you see everything getting you the see hot hand you huh. see everything on fire when you get on fire so uh, now again standing up high elevated cue which for him is normally not a problem a little curve yeah and it's slow that enough that the spin doesn't stay in the cue ball That was one of the things uh, which Kolomans mentioned to me before the game. I asked him which, which were the strength of Sang Lee's game and he said it was a speed control. Uh -huh. Soft, soft shots, just arriving, not using, not using too much energy. Now he had a bad stroke here. That was the first, first little miss from Sang Lee in this game. He forgot to draw. Five feet long and he couldn't hit the short rail. Yeah, but that wasn't supposed to be exactly in the corner even, so it was missed by, by a little bit. But it was nice to see that he can, he can, can miss also. He can be human, yes. For uh, that, was, that was one of the most fantastic periods I have seen in a long time. Those first four innings here from Sang Lee. Oh, absolutely perfect. And now we will see Raymond getting a, a little chance. Slowly arriving on the ball, not getting a good break. He could have hit the yellow a little bit nicer. But this is okay for him. 
Yes, I think this we're is, good. Mm -hmm. This is a tactical tactical shot here which can work out real well if you if you just let it drop on the red ball. Just three cushions slowly. Play this. Yes, short, long and short. This looks good. Just let it drop on the red. And if you now he makes it perfectly to open up a position from uh, the red uh, ball, but he could also have had easily a position from the yellow. If the yellow and wasn't so and close. If yeah. he misses, he will be he will be leaving a position for Sang Lee, which could have been very, very, very difficult. So it was a it was a perfect way to play the shot. No, if, he you, if he made it, very good, probably good position. If he missed it, probably good defense. Yeah. Which no. uh, defense is always dangerous against Sang Lee when he's shooting well, because he makes when points in all kinds of situations. So when he's on fire. Yes. Kuleman's plays like this always, so he doesn't have to change anything just to, just to keep up his normal game. Now he's made three three good shots in a row here, and as I said before, he's not worried at all. He's just he's just playing. Let's see what happens. It's he incredible. Says. His presence on the table is just so very steady. No matter how well you're playing or bad. He's always there. You always feel him behind you, yes. even if you're leading. Now he was a little bit unlucky. The yellow stays frozen to the rail. But the same same story. He doesn't leave. He leaves the cue ball, Sangli's cue ball on the same side of the table like the other two balls. Mm -hmm. So when he misses, uh, there is no easy way. If you... If the cue ball are, is on one side of the table and the object ball is on the other, you can always go cross table or you can always do something or, or play safety back. But so if you're on the same side, then yeah, it that becomes that not an option. Mm -hmm. For the player playing the safety shot, it's, it's easier like that. That's a tip. Try to have all three balls on the same side of the table. That's more difficult to score then. Uh -huh. But now we were, still, we were still making points. Here's a four cushion shot, which to me is one of the most terrible shots. I don't like going off the ball lying oh. close to the rail. You, you missed, missed it by close. On the inside. Yeah. He was using a little more speed than normal, which opens it up for Sang Lee, of course. Do you feel particularly strong or weak on any particular shots? Yeah, I don't like when the object ball is too far away. Really? But uh, and I, I detest draw shots, all kinds of draw shots, I detest them. I make many of them, but I detest, I, I don't like to play draw shots, any kind. Yeah, yes, big, big draw shots are okay, but small ones, a ah, little draw, and, I see, I see. and just a, a little draw, or <laughs> you mean, uh, holding the ball a little, I hate that. favorite types of shots. Yeah, yeah, we are absolutely opposites in that, in that matter. Yeah, many people say, uh, many times me and my, my billiard friends talk about your game and Sangli's game, how Sangli coerces the balls to make points his style of play yeah kind of says kind of he kind of asks the balls how they would like to score and then they listen to him yeah. compared to your style which is you tell them where to go and then they go that's how we feel how some of us feel yeah I, I i try to i try to make the uh, make it easy for the cue ball to to hit the other two balls and that means uh, I don't leave. I don't always have a position, or <laughs> I don't even arrive slowly at the third ball. I like to score easily. Now we just saw Sang Lee get a little kiss and leaving a good position for Kurlmans. This was a half draw shot. One of them I detest. He gets a nice hit on the yellow. Okay. Opens it up for a not too easy three cushion. You either either well. side. Uh, off the yellow ball or the red ball is good? I would play off the, off the red because it doesn't force me to play a draw shot. I can just roll <laughs> this in with a spin. And the position is alright also if you play from the red. From the yellow it's a draw shot with an elevated cue. I wouldn't recommend that to players who, who want to score points. <laughs> this was easy. Yeah, just full ball hit with a maximum spin, no problem. English the shot in basically. Pardon? English, the shot in. Let the English do the work. Yeah, and and and, uh, and the hit. You hit a full ball. That means the cue ball can only go one way. If you if you're trying shots with thin, thin hits, 
you hit uh, just a fraction wrong, the, the ball, the direction of the cue ball is changed much more. When you play on, on thick balls, you hit the object ball thick, cue ball can only go one way. Mm. Nice, nice hit on the red, keeping everything in front of him, okay, but that's not, even not, no, not always good, but when you have all the balls together, that's okay. It's a little bit unlucky, Ken. He, he have a choice. He has a choice here, I think. He can yeah. play off the right side of the red, unless he messes. I, no, I think he can do that. Yeah. He can also draw from the yellow, but he can play the left side very thick on the red ball, just with a high ball and no spin. He was looking at that short. He just had a short look at it, but he's going for the draw shot from the yellow. Uh -huh. This would, this would uh, rise my pulse about. 20 just before releasing the stroke that's true he, was, he felt a little nervous about it too but yes he just got it on the short side mostly when when you when you feel nervous about this shot you will miss it on the short side right the way he he now hit it that's the way it goes when you when you when your stroke is a little nervous it's hard to imagine mr coleman playing nervous but he no, also no, it's not nervous but worried he a little worried about uh, the draw shot because if you give it too much it's uh, yeah it's gone forever it, it has no chance and if you don't give it enough it's yeah it's the same story it's very easy to miss that shot for for a player who's just starting to play three cushion you know they would know because you can miss it by, by very very much if you just make a little mistake in the stroke Now is uh, is rail yeah. first or ball first? Uh, ball first or rail first? This is uh, a pool player will play this uh, thin off the red, but ah. if you miss, you <laughs> if you miss, you will leave a perfect position for the opponent. Uh, pool player will play a drop in shot off the right side of the red. Right side of the red ball, short cushion, long cushion, uh -huh. long cushion, and uh -huh. probably make it every time. But this uh, he's looking at a bank shot rail first on the yellow, which looks impossible. So he's. Looks like he's playing. Yeah, this is one of my favorite safety ah, shots. Curving the ball. Yeah, short, long. Short. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, this doesn't have to hit. I mean, if he misses it, it's 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 closed. Oh my goodness! I thought that was perfect. I thought he. I think he got it. Ah, it did move. Ah, ah as semi, you can see back semi there. Semi was sitting in the audience. Semi uh, says that. Uh, he heard it. He heard so it from there, so as long as he says it's good. He's got Turkish ears. Two of the two of the strongest ears in the world. Yes, yes. He's doing weightlifting with those ears sometimes. <laughs> this oh is a nice shot. So this is wonderful. This. Look. This is I like to see this because this uh, this is a uh, exactly what I said in the beginning of the game. He, he doesn't care. He's 19-1 behind in three innings. He doesn't care. He, this last shot is shows shows how how relaxed he is in mm -hmm. this moment. Mm -hmm. Or how determined or something something <laughs> keeps him going. It was a very difficult shot. Now this is easy. Look what he did with that uh, yellow ball. Yeah. He said goodbye to caution threw caution to the wind and played 100% position. It shows how sure he was to make it. Amazing at, at his at his age to be so competitive with all the up and rising stars and of course established players like yourself. It goes to show you also that billiards is a Oh, yeah, by was hair. Yeah, and this was a little. Yeah, if if he makes this shot more, surely more on the middle of the yellow, he would have had a much better position than this. Now he he lost it a little bit, but he can still go off the outside of the red. So uh, no, nope. that's what I think he's looking at. 
And uh, what about the kiss here? How would you... No, there is no possible kiss when you go on the outside, only when you shoot too hard. No, 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 you cannot even kiss if you shoot hard. This is no problem. Of course, to make the point is not easy. But he's on the middle, exactly in the middle of the third ball. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And now a little kiss on the red. Leaves him a short, long short. Okay. From the red maybe, and a nice position again, leaving all the three balls in the middle if he makes it. He's doing exactly what you're saying now. I don't, I can't, I cannot see from here how he can, how thick he can hit the red ball. He's he needs, he needs to, to hit it a little bit that it doesn't kiss on the way over. Is it uh, better to hit it uh, full or thin in this particular angle? I don't angle? think. Thin, thin is always possible, but uh, I don't think. I don't think it makes it easier. Now he's looking at the three mm -hmm. cushion shot, so he forgot about the other one. I think he's going to drive the red ball near the corner somewhere there. Uh, he's just making the point slowly. Staying close to the yellow, he's not expecting to have a shot from the red anyway, so... The, the red doesn't have to be anywhere special, he's, he has to rely on a nice hit on the third ball, and that exactly that happened. Now the yellow ball will disappear, so now it's interesting to see how he hits the red from behind this... Ah, it turned out... All right. If he hits it in the middle from behind, it's nothing. Now ah, just I see. a little thin, and now it's open. He can still. I think he can play three rails. Yes. From the red ball. Yes. Now this is. Uh, this is a decision that. Uh, yes, he does decide yeah, to yeah, play. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's all right. But he has to go into the corner now, and that spins, spins the cue ball. You have to judge this perfectly. Now the cue ball has a lot of English, almost too long, but it just is perfect. <coughs> this is a very, very low inning game <laughs> with very, very high points. We're going to get the innings in of this game in a minute or so. Little drop in shot here by Mr. Corbin. Just missed it, yeah, it's. Just missed it. That was a run of 13 points by Mr. Corbin. Score, we believe, it's 19 to 18. Yes. 18 to 22. 23, I'm sorry. 23 to 18. Mr. Sang Chun Lee. That's the second kiss in a row for Sang Lee. It's, it's hard to remember, but because it was a long time he was at the table. Yes. So I think it's the second kiss in a row. The other one cost him 13 points. Yes, true. Yes. That was 16 points in uh, about 10, minute, uh, 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Raymond just missed that in the hole. Yes, he did. Uh, Three or four rails he played, but yeah, he, I think he hit it exactly where he aimed. So sometimes you, you tend to aim right between, and when you hit it, it's a perfect shot that you miss. I think uh, Sangley is looking at where the white ball is going to go. Is that it? 
I think he's. Oh, he's looking at. He was looking at the possibility to 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 score three he's cushions. He's playing off long, the right. short, long. There are two possibilities there from the white, but they both look really, really difficult. Maybe it's possible to play long, long, short from the red. Thin on the right side of the red ball. But okay, we have, the white. we have the official. It's 23 to 18 in an unbelievable six innings. The losing, the losing player averaging three. This is the seventh inning of Mr. Lee. Losing, losing player at this moment, averaging three. And Mr. Lee is playing a little ticky here. Looks like he's holding the English to a minimum. Yeah, he just overcut it a little bit. And now, Mr. Coleman's. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, he. He took a breath, took a deep breath there because <laughs> this is not so easy. You have to you have to play from the red. I don't think there is a good option from the yellow. And from the red, there's uh, three a lot of dangers. Three rails, but I think he will draw it. Th uh, thick ball that he tries to avoid the kisses and he spins with a stun or, or a draw shot. Uh -huh. So get out of the kiss by hitting. Uh, I'm ball. not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe he's trying. Yeah, he tried that, but. Not enough draw shots, he didn't hold it enough. Uh, that was a little jerked, jerked a little too much. He should have gone through the ball maybe a little more. And now both players have two innings in a row. Missed after his run of, his run of 13 there. Well, Sang Lee plays the same shot like Kulaman's tried. Position looked very bad for this shot, but he played it so perfect. So very easy for him. Yeah, it was a draw shot, of course. He loves he loves to draw the ball. I asked uh, I asked uh, Sang Lee about uh, his opponent, his strengths and, and weaknesses. Uh -huh. I think he missed this. Oh boy! Surprising the to him there. and surprising to me too. I think he, he hit it exactly as he wanted, but this table's playing a little bit shorter than the other three tables in in the room, and that might have been the difference. Yeah, I asked uh, Sang Lee about the strength of, of Raymond Kohlemans. He said, when I sit down on the chair and he's in front of me playing, mm -hmm. when he's aiming, I know he's going to hit. Every time I know he's going to make it. Every time. You see it. I, I have the same feeling. Sometimes I see him aim and I say, yeah, there's no way he can miss. Look at him aiming. This must be good. Oh, look and at this. Uh, yeah, this was difficult. It was really, really difficult to hit. That did perfectly. But I can, I can see that, yeah. And, the, and the, on the other question, the weakness of Raymond, he said, uh, no, he said, uh, really nothing. But sometimes, sometimes you feel that when he has to increase the speed of the cue ball that he loses a little bit of the control, but uh -huh. it's hard to hard to find some weaknesses in his game. Nice shot, four rails. Most most players, most players in the world like this shot when you can make it on three rails. But Sang Lee makes it just as well on four rails. Um, to many that of us, true, that's right. that's more difficult. Good shot. So after a couple of uh, innings missed, Sangley looks like he's gotten his composure back. Yeah, this is. I think a Coleman let him in, let him back in. Yeah, he had that that little draw shot that he tried, which didn't come off. So now we see Sangley trying to do something <coughs> that he hates. He hates this shot. But this is it's a good line. He's departing almost from the corner. That means the angles are pretty normal. Looks good. Perfect. Wow. 
pretty good for somebody who feels like he averages 300 on. I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly how he feels about it, but uh, I I just see him avoiding avoiding the rail first more than more than two rail first. He's avoiding all the time. So I suppose I suppose that he don't like them. Maybe he likes them, and, and but he likes other shots more. I I don't know. This one was perfect, and he, of course he had a fantastic position. I think Mr. Lee is a he, he's a type of player that changes his shot according to how he's feeling at the moment. Sometimes he'll play m more difficult shots when he's feeling very good and he'll change if he's feeling a little bit unsure, basically. I don't know. He's, uh, I think he tries to play every shot correctly as, as it has to be played. doesn't matter the score, even if he's leading... If he's leading... Uh, He's leading a game by 30 points. He still, he still, he has a position where he doesn't know. I he doesn't know how to shoot. Sangli forgot. Uh, during this tournament, there are two different levels of points they're playing, either 30 or 40. They play 30 points with the qualifiers. You, Mr. Lee, Kolomins, and Sammy Sajner play 40 points when you play each other. And uh, Sangli right now forgot that he played 40. He thought he only needed a couple of points instructed the referee to call the number of points left when there's yeah. three can you imagine that that makes it even 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 stranger the situation he, he having led the game 19 to 1 thinking that it's he to 30 I mean <laughs> now <laughs> thinking about that that makes it strange I mean, but Kulamas knew Kulamas yes. he, he told me I, I played him yesterday and he or day before yesterday and he told me that it was 40 points just one second before I, I was going to shoot the break shot and I didn't know either I had forgotten about it too so <laughs> I was a little shocked there and he, so he knows he knew all the time so he was maybe more relaxed than Sangli thought Big this might shot. go in the hole yeah this is always a risk this is hard to control this shot <coughs> It's uh, almost uh, not not lucky, but uh, I think it's a uh, feeling, just a little feeling. He almost did go in the hole that that shot. Yeah, you, you saw him. You saw him just hesitating a little bit. Shall I pick up the chalk and go on, <laughs> or should I just just go to sit down? <laughs> yes. Oh, he's got to reach on this one, being lefty. Yeah, this is a three cushion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's playing three cushions. Here. Look at this. It's going to. Little curve, little draw into the corner. Wow, very good. He has another draw shot here from the red. He's, he's, looking, there, he's there. looking at a thin ball, five rails. hesitation. Was it thin enough? I don't know. No. No score. That's 31 to 18. 31 to 18. In about nine innings. That was eight innings. Oh, no, no, wait. Okay, that, that was, was nine innings. Yes. I think it was eight innings. Did he, did he finish his eighth inning now? Yes. Kulamans with a thin ball. Thin hit. Oops. 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 Ah, this, is, this is good. It's perfect. Yellow ball is big like a car. But like the, the angle, the angle to, to hit the red is not perfect because I think he has to spend some concentration on avoiding the kiss here, not not only playing position. And why wouldn't he play off the left side of the? No, no, no. no. That then you you arrive at the ball with only two rails. Now you have three rails already coming down, but he misjudged it. So the score is thirty-two to nineteen. 
in nine innings. This is Mr. Lee's tenth inning. So now he's putting a. He's marking the table yeah, down. He's, he's, he's looking at the same shot like Raymond played before. Uh -huh. No, he he has the option to go rail first inside inside the white. Ah, I see. Looks like looks like the white is too close to the rail, but I I can't see. Oh, maybe it's open. And then he tried to take care of the white ball, but he doesn't kiss on the red. Look at this shot. Perfect. He he only missed one rail first shot in this game, and that was only almost impossible. He had right. to go very thin, thin on the ball. Yeah. Very very super thin hit. Correct. And we have over there in the background a couple of well-known pool players. They've decided to come to this tournament uh, along with uh, Jeanette Lee to check out the three cushion championship here. I know the one on the right, that's Helena Turnfeld from Borlänge in Sweden. Yes, the and one on the, the left, the I don't know. The one on the left is Leslie O'Hare. O'Hare. Leslie O'Hare. They're, uh, of course, the professional women's pool players. Drop-in shot here. Almost kiss. Too slow, but he played it on three rails, I think, anyway, so... Yes, yes. This didn't need that speed. Most of us would would have played, uh, hit the ball hard enough and hope for the best, but he played that exactly with precision. Yeah, this was complicated to play it hard because the first rail was very, very short, shortly after the hit. It means you attack the rail and, and strange, ah, so would have strange things happen. It would have, would have been too difficult to play, I think. He got away with it because he didn't leave Raymond a nice position. Oh. He did his best, missed by a hair. Thirty-three, nineteen in ten innings. That's a three-point-three average. That's huge. Sang Lee having lost four games in this tournament. I, I talked with Kurlman before the game. I I asked him, uh, or we we both agreed on the same thing that the one who loses this tournament, no, the one who loses this game, this game. is uh, probably out of reach for a top three uh, that's finish. True, yes, with the record, yeah, with the record uh, five four with and four with four, another loss would probably ha most probably because uh, we have we have uh, you with three losses. We have Pedro, Pedro Buena with only one loss and we have Semi Sagner with one loss and we have Tony Carlson with three losses at the moment. So somebody with five losses would probably be, be out of the top three. Maybe out of the top four. Yeah, that, this, that will be an average story. Oops. Oh. I see another example of this table being a little shorter than the others. He was surprised there. Yeah, I, I thought he hit it perfect too. I think you're right about the uh, number of people and being the first game. The balls are yeah. the tables are a little bit shorter than it would be. In the evening, this this would would have been a point. It's funny how that changes. Yeah, yeah, you can you can never play a shot the same. You can never play a shot as, as you did last time. It's, it's always like different. It's, it's always different. Right. It's almost like golf where you have to take, take care of the wind. wind speed yeah. and adjust accordingly. And the way the direction the grass grows and everything. Yes. We have all those things here too. Absolutely. We don't have a 9 iron. We don't have a 3 wood. You only have the 1 cue. We only have the 1 wood. <laughs> only all players today playing with wooden cues again sometimes many European players and South Americans too they were using cues of other materials ah, yes. but now everybody has returned to 
playing with for a while. Wood I actually cube. had one cube like that. Uh, it's actually made out of Teflon, which yeah. is the same material they use for bulletproof vests. Their shafts were made out of Teflon. Teflon. Mm -hmm. I prefer to to fry my sausages in, in Teflon and playing awesome. billiards with it. Play short with speed. Five rails. Bad hit on the yellow ball. Bad. Of course, oh, of course, it's not. It's no mistake on his side. It's just unlucky because he can hit that ball almost everywhere. He, he will have a nice position, and here he hasn't. Because it, uh, he's of course desperately needing some breaks here to win this game. If he loses, he has a record of five and five with almost 1.6, over 1.6 average, which is, which is amazing. True, yes, that's, there's actually one player who averaged 1.5 and didn't make it to the second yeah. part of the finals. Yes. Our good friend, Bum Bum Ho, from Korea. Yes. He was desperately unlucky not to reach the final. Oh, he went behind that ball. Seems yeah, like he made it. Look at this. Yes. yes. Wow. Made it by a little hair there. No. That was surprising. He, he must have had that hit that ball very, very thin with absolutely no spin. That's that's difficult to control. Now he has a nice position here. Don't concentrate too much on the position play. It's there automatically normally. Anyway, you have to hit the red ball in the right place, otherwise you have no position. So he's having an argument with a fly. Yes, I think uh, I think that fly was probably hired by Mr. Lee. Now he has some controversy with the referee here, but they they seem to stay friends. Let's see what's ah, uh, just a little little miscount by Mr. Jim Oliver, one of the uh, sponsors of Karen Corner and very enthused referee. And he plays five, five cushions. Five cushions, trying to control the red ball that it goes into the corner. Uh, but I think concentrated Oops. too much on that. Well, maybe, maybe he had too many flies. Now we have the score as 34 to 24, Mr. Lee leading by 10. This is the beginning of the 12th inning. So they have a total of 58 points, 22 innings. Wonderful shot again. This is he just nailed it. Speed shot, uh, just completely controlled. I think he feels the the end of the game coming coming into coming close. This is a draw shot again, which is very 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 difficult. This shot, but. Look how look how he hits the red ball. That's one hundred percent, one hundred percent hit on the third ball. Incredible. He played uh, a lot of draw with almost no English, just a little English, just steering the ball uh -huh. so perfectly. Well, this is one of the disadvantages with hitting the third ball in the middle because probably the position would have been better otherwise. But he has a five cushion shot, I think here. Oops. Oh no, look at this. No. Oh. That ball just, from our angle, we could see that that ball just curved a little bit. After the third down. rail, yeah, after the third rail it curved because oh. he came too close to the corner. He probably would have been better off hitting the a little bit away from the corner. Mm -hmm. So to, to so that curve would not have occurred. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
because it looked like he hit it almost as good as he could on that short, first short rail. Still missed the point. He was pretty surprised about that one. No, it was a good shot. It was a great shot. This is Mr. Kulemins's draw opening. shot. Follow through the ball. Oh no! Look at this. Looks, looks like looks it goes like behind. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. This is uh, hard. Side. Hard to make these shots when the yellow is not close to the rail. He has been fighting uphill all the game. I I feel that he needs. Raymond needs a couple of mistakes from Sang Lee or or some good positions to win this game. Yeah, we saw before, Sang Lee made a couple of mistakes. This was a bad stroke again from Sang Lee. This is the thing that Raymond needs. No, he got it. Oh. Oops. I think he let his stroke go a little bit too... The timing wasn't right. I didn't right. go through really. Oh, we see him, we see him doing that quite often and... and yeah, for those he, of he you... Makes, he makes the shot anyway. Now he had the same same story. Oh, this oh. time he missed it. Oh, it's a little bit... This is maybe one of the things... One of the things that Raymond mentioned to me. I asked him about the strength of his game and the weakness. He said the weakness is maybe his concentration sometimes. Mm -hmm. Now it seems like he's a little bit... To miss a shot like that must be... No, it was two bad strokes in a row. That shouldn't happen and... Uh, I mean the way he moved his arm, the, the pure, pure technical movement. Oh, look but at this. Raymond makes, makes an even bigger mistake here. Okay, well, we don't we don't have to mention the word mistake because this is one of the greatest games of the tournament. Of course, they true, true. they are allowed to miss. And over there that you see in the background is Miss Jeanette Lee, Mrs. Jeanette Lee, who is here, uh, taking uh, getting billiard lessons from the best players in the world. She's a good pupil. She beat Raymond Kulemans yesterday in the yes, uh, she exhibition beat him, game. Uh, twenty. It was a thirty to fifteen, and she beat him. Mr. Kulemans made only twenty-two points, albeit that Mr. Kulemans was telling her what to shoot and how to shoot it. Of course, that's uh, some of some of the billiard players and some of the pool players and snooker players, some of the Q players, Q sport players are very programmable you say say what they have to do and they do it yes now Sang Lee had a three rail first shot which he missed this time just a little bit too much no, he, leaves, he leaves a nice position for Raymond that's what he needs to come back into this game 36-24 behind this was a good position but it was not really possible to play position so you have to rely on the hit. He hit the red ball. Mm -hmm. not unlucky. Not so nice. But there are some possibilities. You can play uh, with maybe a little hold up. The left side of the... the left, left side, side of, of the red ball with a reverse English. Uh -huh. Long, short, long and... And if you give it a little extra speed you might be able to play safety. But I don't think he's thinking about that. He's, he's confident. To make the point? To make it, yeah, I think so. He's aiming thin, I can see on his face. You can see on his face that he's aiming thin. Yeah, because he's making a grimace ah, a little bit. Because his he has to view through his glasses precisely. To get he doesn't, like, he doesn't like that. He doesn't like to hit both both thin. It's, he prefers to to work with with English and speed mm -hmm. and instead of the and draw and hold and follow and all these things he likes to go off the half ball and or thicker now this fly i had this fly two days ago <laughs> the same fly yeah yeah it's it's very annoying fly is probably a pool player drop in shot here yeah. three rails don't go behind no it can't This is nice. Now it's going to be a little exciting. The fly just went away to the other table, I saw. Uh, yes. That's nice. It's going over to bother Tony and Tony uh, Carlson. Hank and Tony Carlson over there. 
Raymond is lying now they have you can see all the three balls are, are in one line this is most of the time this is terrible because you have no way to shoot without being uh, without being uh, disturbed in your cue action you have to play you have to cue over one of the balls or this is problems for the stroke it's looking at uh, doubling the rail yes double the rail which which normally is not a problem in this situation but because the way he's queuing is too much uh -huh. yeah cue ball jumps a little and, and the control is lost 36 27 in 14 innings probably probably 14 innings to 27 in the middle of the 15th inning so this is Mr. Kuhlman's 15th 15th inning seems kind of shot is here yeah it, it seems impossible this he has to hit this very very thin I don't know if he gets out, gets away from the kiss because the, yes. the red has to the red has to disappear Looks like it'll come too short if he gets out of the kiss. Yeah, he passed the kiss real, real, real wow. close. This was a great shot. He passed the kiss by right, like, uh, like one centimeter or something, and less. And that's, that's. Uh, and he still hit the object ball very thin. Yeah, that was that's over the limit of your control. That's uh, you have to risk that a little bit to to go that close to a kiss. Perfect judgment, of course. Perfect position little extra spin to be sure to make the point five rails mm -hmm. and the red double to the other corner but now he's behind both balls with huge distances here this might be a little problem but this is a situation where he, where you as as the opponent of Raymond Kullermans you expect a mistake here but th this is also the situation where yeah. where he's Many, many times he has turned around games to his own advantage. Looks like he's playing three cushions? I don't know. Maybe five. Or five. Three cushions, but he missed the draw. He missed the draw completely. Oh. He didn't draw the ball at all. Exactly what he did in the previous, about uh, five innings ago, when he yeah. played, played, uh, played a short angle shot, and he missed the draw. So, so far your question about weakness and strengths seems to be right on the money. About uh, when you have to give a little bit of oomph on the ball, he made the same mistake twice, Mr. Pullman's. But, uh, you, you have to have to remember that these these l little half, half draw shots, sem semi-draw shots, these are the most difficult shots that there are in the games. So that there where all players have the mistakes so it's not uh -huh. surprising that mistakes are coming just there Sangli was not happy about his last shot yes that was his uh, patented no no saying no but he leaves Kulemans with a terrible position is, uh, is it difficult to get out of the kiss on this this angle yeah, not only that. Uh, if you if you get off the get out of the kiss, you have to score the point. Also, I mean, <laughs> I don't think it's I don't think it's even easy to shoot <coughs> in any way in this position. Even missing the point by by meters and not having a kiss. This is a typical position for kiss kisses. But I think he's he has found a way to avoid all problems. Three rails like this. 
Well, is even to worry even about is being able to control the yellow ball. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> this was one of the worst positions in the whole game and perfect shot. He decided to forego thinking about how to get out of the kiss, playing a back and forth drop in shot. Decided to play just the three cushions and he hit it. I didn't think this shot existed anyway. I, I'm sitting a little bit yes, we're not opposite to his, his direction of shooting. Two. Nice shot. And now if he has if he is a little yeah, I think this is alright. I think he can still reach this ball. Four rails. Of the of, of right side of the yellow ball. Yellow, yeah. Four cushions. Just spin. I don't think he has to draw it, but it looks like he's aiming for looks a draw like he's shot. Aiming low. I don't think he needs it. Shot. I think yeah, yeah, he, he played it deliberately with a little draw just to be able to control the yellow ball, just to leave the yellow ball in the corner, ah, in the see. region of the corner. If he if he would have played it without draw, the yellow ball would have been somewhere else, much too quick. I think he's unlucky with the position. But then off the red is difficult. Hey, yeah. Cabrigan, one over there against uh, Mr. Carlson. I think uh, Raymond is looking at the, the rail first. Yeah, the rail first shot, the uh, Sang Lee speciality, yeah, which sure. Raymond is not very confident with these shots. He, he seems to jump a little in the stroke. He was not, he was not sure yeah. exactly how to play this shot, which nobody is. I think maybe Sang Lee would have known exactly how to shoot it, but it's hard to know. And when the the object ball is just one ball out of the rail, one ball away from the rail, it's hard to know like, exactly how thick you're going to hit it because right. you, ca you may not measure the distance. If it's 61 millimeters and a half, it, you know it, but you can't see that really, so it, it's hard to know exactly how thick you'll hit it. He left Sang Lee an easy shot. And look what he did with it. He played it well, but... Sang Lee needs two at the moment. The score is 37 to 32 in 16 innings. And Sangley has scored one. 38 He's and... playing for two. I think the white ball just went a little bit too far. He can't play from the white three rails. So he plays this. He's looking at short, long, long. Short, long, long. But he's going back to aim a little on the white. He might stand up. Yeah, I, I know this. This is... If you can... this. You can play this one just slowly off the red, short, long, short, but this is not a favorite shot. He likes the big ball, so he will probably go thicker on the ball, short, long, and over to the other long rail. To create a big ball here. Look at this. With a lot of spin, that make, making it absolutely impossible to pass behind. And now Mr. Lee is going to play for one. He looks like he could, he's got a decent shot here. I think he even has a double chance if he plays three or five. Uh, three from rails, the white. four or five rails. Yes, three, three or five off the white. I think it's a big ball. I think the red is the ball is very big there. If he passes too long. And uh, before the end of the game, first uh, before it gets crazy over here, I'd like to thank you for commenting this game and imparting knowledge to the billiard uh, enthusiasts of America. This is the 17th inning for Mr. Lee. Mr. Kuhlmans has 32 points in 16 innings. Yeah, he will lose. He will lose averaging too. Now Sangli has found another way. Oh, look at this. Thin, Thin ball. Hits. No, it's very difficult. He's very respectfully apologizing for taking time, but I think he's afraid of. No, oh, he's, he's allowed. To, he's allowed to take time, but I don't know what he's doing with the white ball. Oh, look at this! He played it just yeah, three yeah. cushions. Just three cushions. 
And that's the end of our match here. Score is 40 to 32 in 17 and 16 innings. Mr. Choi Byun Bumdal, thank you again very much for for being here and and, and telling us uh, and showing us this uh, uh, this match, talking about it and. Uh, we hope that uh, we, I know you have a few games left, and uh, we all hope that you, you, you out there will probably be watching the next videotape, and you'll see Mr. Bumdal shooting right after this. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm here with Mr. Raymond Kuhlemans, who's come to play the tournament at World Cup Billiards in Atlanta. And I'd just like to have a little discussion. Uh, Raymond, first of all, uh, welcome and thank you for coming to participate in this tournament. It's really been a great pleasure to have you here. Yeah, it's my pleasure to come over because it's always a nice tournament. <laughs> uh, Raymond, when did you begin playing billiards? I think I was... 10, 11 years old, and I started playing billiard. And my first competition was maybe 14, 15 years old on the small table in the street railing. Like free games, we call it. How did you do in your first tournament? What was the result? Yeah, I was still playing good. I play between five and seven in average. It means uh, that I make uh, 150 points in, let we say, between 20 and 25 innings. Oh, very good. How important do you think it is for players to start with the free game? Well, it's dependent the player by himself because uh, all good players, if we say, for example, Torbjorn, he never played the, the other kinds of, of disciplines, but he can play still the free game and the one cushion, and he's also a good pool player. It means, it's, I think it's not necessary if you do it, it's an advance. Of course, you, you get the, the, the finishing touch of your uh, stroke for a three cushion. It's always an advance, but it's not necessary, I think. Did, did it, uh, was it necessary at one time and things have changed? Because everybody used to play the free game. They used to start with the free game and then to one cushion and balk line yeah. and stuff like that. So have times changed and the game has changed such that uh, now one can jump right in with three cushion? No. No, 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 not on not, not that way, because uh, we have in, in, in Europe also, we have also players, they have never played the free game and, and the ball line and so, and they are still strong, uh, strong three cushion players, because three cushion and trick shots, fantasy, classic, we call it, it's different with the other kinds of disciplines. It's completely different. Three cushion is three cushion, and, 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 and the other kinds of disciplines like ball line and one cushion and free game, it's it's completely different. Yeah. Raymond, you've been the mentor for so many people for so many years. Everybody looks up to you as the you know, sort of their father or their grandfather of billiards and have learned so much from you. Are there teachers or mentors that you had when you were coming up and playing billiards? I got a teacher also. He was not the, the best player in Belgium, but he was a good teacher and he gave me the lessons for free because my parents, they couldn't pay all these things. And he say, this young kid, it's so, so talent that I want to, to give him lessons for free. And then I take it from, I was 15 years till now, 18, 19 years old. And his name was Franz Rombolz, but he was a good player. He was a complete player also in Belgium, but not the top. But to give lessons, he was beautiful. Do you think it's important for younger players to have a good instructor or to have a teacher? Yes, because then everything goes uh, faster. Because uh, if you don't take lessons, the time that you need to be to go on the top is too much, too too long. And if you get lessons, it's go double faster. That's it. So, what does one look for in a good teacher? If I wanted to find a teacher, how, what would I look for? Uh, how would I select somebody? Yeah, that's, that's also difficult to say. You don't have to be the, the, the strongest player in the world right. of French country because it's, it's, an, it's a question of psychological also and, and mentality and so everything. And he can, he can teach in this way also the player, and that's very important. 
Raymond, you've played many times in the USA. Maybe this is the third Carom Corner tournament you've played in. How do you like playing in the USA? It's, it's very good because you play a lot of games and that's good. We are all billiard players and we love the game and we, we like to play. If we play the World Cup, let me say, for example, and you lose on the first round, you are out. You travel a lot and you play one game and out. I don't like this style. I was always contra this, eh? against this. Yes, eh? Never, I support never to play one game. If I have to go to Colombia, to the United States, or let me say to Japan, to play one game only and, and out, unlucky. Like here in my first game, I play Moon Boom uh, Hell, yeah. and he, he beat me in 10 innings, eh? 30 points. Yeah. Then you have to go, you play only 10 innings and you have to go back home. That, no, no, that's not nice. That's why I love and what, what I love and I like to play the system that you build here. Raymond, tell me, why do you play three cushion billiards? Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Because I love the game. I mean, uh, I like to play. I, I want to dominate it always these balls. And we have to do what I say, what I want to do, but that's not always. <laughs> that's not always true because, but that's, I think that's, that's, so the, that's amazing to, to, to find out now you go to rolling like this, in this way, in this way, in this way. That's all. It's a fascination, you know. Yeah. Right. Can you tell me what billiards means for you and what it has meant for you in your life? It's, I think billiards is all my life because I make my business with, 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 with billiards. All my life is billiards. I have my two sons here playing billiards. They're all insult in the business. My grandson is now playing good billiards. We are all in the same, in the same direction. Billiard and make the combination with, 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 with business. That's, that's, that's. And uh, you've made a life and career out of playing billiards. What's your philosophy? What's your overall philosophy for how you approach the game? My philosophy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's maybe difficult to say, my philosophy to say. Um, mm, how shall I say? Uh, yeah. First of all, if you are a good player, and that's very important, I think, it must be also, shall we say, nice guy. I mean, be support also another good player. If he play well, you have to accept it. If you lose, if you lose again, don't be mad. Also, to the audience, they are watching your game. I think it's it's a, this philosophy of the game is very strong, and if you get it, if you get this with you, people will they will love you also, and it gives you after a losing game, you be stronger always again. If you you lose a game after you win the game, that's what you need. But your philosophy of it be nice, be supported to be an. It's very difficult to say for me. Uh, uh, I, I, I don't know exactly the word in English. Uh, uh, you, I, I've noticed that, I mean, that's why, why I love you so much and, and most people love your game. Aside from being so many times world champion, your manner at the table is so impeccable. The way you behave is, is a, really a model for everybody. I think this is what you're trying to say. Yeah, that's exactly, what I'm trying to say. exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yes, yes. And that's not that's not easy to do it. Yeah, like and in, in this you've been impeccable, and uh, this is why I think you've become so popular over the years. Aside from being the best, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's not easy to do it, eh, yeah. uh, Charlie. Because, but you have to do it. Yeah, you try to be nice, and you <laughs> don't always want to be. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 I try to be nice and kill my opponent <laughs> at the, the same time. Yeah. On, the, on the same time on the table, <laughs> but that's. Uh, yeah. That's I, I, that, and maybe that's the, ph the philosophy of, of playing billiard. Yeah, eh? right. Be nice, but try to kill your opponent. Yeah, the audience, the people like to see a good game. They like to see. Eh? That's what, that's very important. Then how would you characterize the difference between winning the game or losing the game? Yeah, if in the beginning if I started and if I lose, yeah, that's that's a little bit mad. But now it's chancing after after so many years I change it and I can accept it if I lose if I play my, my game well and I lost yeah okay but, but so what can I do I'm 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 
playing uh, 30 years long now, 40 years international, but I dominated the billiard 30 years long. Now I have to accept that some players are better than me and they beat me. Eh? But sometimes I beat also the good players, why not? But mostly they beat me now. Eh? The, the four or five strongest players, they beat me. Yeah. Eh? Was it difficult for dominating this the game for so many years? Did you f have, ever have a time where you doubted yourself, or because everybody was challenging, everybody wanted to beat Raymond Kulimas? Yeah. Was that very difficult for you at some point? It was very difficult because if I if I lost if I lost the championship, then I got the best let we say response in the in in the in the news. Kulimas lost the championship, and then they, they are writing from this four or five days long. And if I win the game, the championship, there's only one day they say, Kölmans win the championship and over. Eh? <laughs> Very funny. The news isn't when you win. The news is when you lose, but, but right? This, this time, is news, yeah. yeah right. In this time, it was like <laughs> that. Eh? If I lose, it was... Oh. It's big news, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when, you, when you go to play a tournament, is there any special practice or preparation you do f beforehand for a tournament? No, I, 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 I try to... to to, to be normal, always. I practice, yeah, okay, but to be normal. Not nothing special. I mean, uh, never change your 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 your. What shall I say? Never change your normal uh, situation. Your know, normal how you're going in 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 the in the whole week or in the whole day. Uh, I never change my work. I, I'm thinking on the same time and. Uh, in the same way, I mean, thinking, make everything normal and practice. I practice then a little more than normal before the tournament. Eh? For younger players coming up, or really anybody, how would you? What would you suggest they do for their practice session to use the time wisely? How should they um, prepare? How you know? How, what what should they do? Yeah, if, if a young player, he must playing a lot. He must practice a lot if he can. Eh? He must practice a lot. That's the best way. Mm -hmm. Every day, if it is possible. Every day, three, four hours practice. That's the best way. That's the best way. Yeah. Yeah. And how, for so many years, how have you stayed so disciplined? Yeah, oh, that's a good question. Now I tell you, and that's, that's the truth. I was 40 years old before I drank for the first time in my life a glass of wine. Oh, Raymond, yeah. Yes, that's true. So very young, you were very disciplined and practiced in billiards. You, know? yeah. you have to have, you must have a discipline and very, very strong in order to play this game. Yeah, Raymond. In the last several years, many, like you said earlier, some younger players have come up and they're uh, maybe a little stronger than you now. But your average has improved over the last few years. What do you attribute that to? How, how? You know, with so many yeah. years, how can you still improve your game so much? Yes. Because you keep pace with these guys. In that time that I win all the championship in three cushion, I was a player between 1.350 one, three, one three and 1.5. And now I play mostly between 1.5 and 1.6, but still lose many times more than before. But that's the evolution in, this, in our sport right. after 30 years and we, we must be lucky that it is going on this way because if it don't go on this way billiard will be die and that's not good then they must coming up young players young they are still a little bit stronger than the other be the older man and then and, and, uh. well it's really a tribute to you that you can keep pace and continue to learn and to improve your game and your average after so many years that's really really impressive yeah. that's amazing my, 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 my average is better than than in, in that time that I won every championship in three cushion still much better but now there are four or five players the and I have to accept it the uh, on, on, the, on the moment, stronger than me. Yeah. Sometimes I beat them. Sometimes they're sometimes. stronger than you. Yeah. 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 Not always. <laughs> Not always, but sometimes I beat still. Eh? I can I can beat Blondel, I can beat Saigener, I can beat Kudrow, I can beat yeah. a, every good player, but mostly when we play 10 times, they go to beat me six, seven times now. What do you think about the uh, players in the USA and the, some of the younger players and some of the players who've been around for a while? Pedro, uh, Pedro, Pedro Pedro Buena. Yeah. Pedro Buena. Huh? Yeah. Pedro is his, is his first name. Eh? Pedro, yeah. Pedro Pedro Buena. He's a good player. But I never see him playing so well like here in this tournament. I never see because before he was a player for 1.1. 1 
yeah. one point two maybe maximum. Right. But no, he's playing like like a young god here. Eh? Yeah. yeah, he's fantastic, and and also, yeah, the, the other players. I, 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 I don't. I know the names, but not so. I see him not so many times that he are no. playing the other players. Right. Well, they are still good enough, but yeah. The other they are still better, eh? right. stronger. Eh? So what but he can he can learn a lot now. If you watch the game, you can learn a lot. Eh? Yeah. So what do you think we need to do here in the U.S. to improve uh, our game? To uh, uh, the contact, the contact that you get now with the better players. Eh? Keep it, keep the contacts, keep uh, to organize some tournaments if it is possible. That's the best way you can do it. The best listens this this way. <laughs> um, Billiards has had a rich history, which you've contributed much to. What do you see for the future, in uh, particularly in three cushion billiards? What do you see on the horizon? Yeah, be, be, before we got also great names on, eh? like yeah. in the United States, we have uh, Willie Hoppe, and, uh, Bobby Slayton, and, and all this, eh? and Schaefer, and, and all good players also. They are here in they live in the United States and also also in, in, in Europe. We have a lot of good players, and there is always an evolution in sport, in every sport, eh? Right. Charlie, yeah. Eh? yeah. In football, in in, in, in in bicycle, in athletic, it's always an evolution. And uh, to to say, uh, let me say to say, 30 years ago he was the best, and and to make. A difference between now and this time is always very difficult because everything was different. The tables are different. Everything was different in, in, e in every kinds of sport. It's like this, eh? the material and now and now it's everything is so let we say high class, high, very high, and th that's also one of the reasons that the level, the level of the of the of the quality go more high. Eh? Yeah, Raymond. Anything you would like to add to this conversation? Anything you want to say for all our yeah. listeners? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad that I've been here. And next month I go also to El Paso. And I hope that I, the years that I can play still, maybe two, three years more in the competition, that I came over to the United States to play these kinds of tournaments. <laughs> I remember one last time I spoke to you, you, you had said that you were going to play for another 30 years, and yeah. so I warned everybody, be careful, because Raymond will be around yeah, for another yeah. 30 years. <laughs> Raymond, it's really a pleasure to have you here again in the United States, and you've, again, been a model for so many players for so many years, and I think what you were saying about uh, your manner at the table and accepting the wins, accepting the losses, accepting what your opponent does is is, is really uh, truly fantastic. You are the greatest at that, and everybody looks to you at that. Thank you very much, Raymond, and I wish you well the rest of the tournament. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you.